What's the adult version of, there is no Santa Claus? Retirement is not a physical age. It is a financial state. Lots of people were the smartest kid in their high school. My life will really begin when X happens. Right now is just a phase. Promotions aren't always merit-based. And senior management people don't actually know what they're doing. That sometimes terrible people will just keep being terrible and never have a change of heart or anything negative come of it. That often they'll benefit from being terrible. But I'd like to believe that no matter what. At least I don't have to spend my life being that person. And I'll be happier with even moderate success that isn't created by being an impossibly shitty person. And that's the closest I'll get to holiday spirit even though there is no Santa. Rhetoric wins over logic, reality. When you realize that Santa is indeed real, and it's you. There is no such thing as the one in terms of relationships. You are potentially compatible with a great many people and probably some people you wouldn't expect. Whether or not you ever meet them or give them a shot is a whole other thing. But the fairy tale idea that we are destined to be with one person in particular is surprisingly common among grown adults. When they hire you on the spot. It's not because you're an amazing person with so many credentials. It's because it's a really shitty job. And they desperately need to fill it for the third time this month. Sex isn't always good. My first partner was amazing. After a year or so with her. We broke up and I was with someone else it sort of crushed me when the sex chemistry was so bad I couldn't even keep an erection half the time. There are terrible awful people in the world that get away with all of it and die peacefully in their sleep with no repercussions. There are people with hearts of gold who get continually fucked by life for no goddamn reason. The adult version of, there's no Santa, is, the universe doesn't care. Going to college doesn't guarantee you a good job. You're a hard worker. You're fired anyway because we're reducing headcount. But, but I was told working hard meant. Yay. Santa Claus. You probably won't have summers off. For me it was finding out those HGTV shows are all more or less staged. You can be skilled. Charismatic. Talented. Successful. And be good looking. But that will still never be enough for some people. You really do have to do taxes yearly. The winners on the Price is Right can't take the item home until they pay the sales tax. So if you are broke and win a car. You can't even have the car. My world was shattered. Edit I have been schooled. People pay income tax not sales tax but in the state of California. That has to be paid before the contestants can take the items home. If you work hard and are loyal to your company. They will be loyal to you. The sad reality is most large companies don't care anymore and will lay you off after being there for 10 plus years even if you were a devoted and hard-working employee. Always have a 6 months pay in the bank and always be networking to have your next job lined up. College is a business. The idea that once you graduate college, or get married, or buy your first house, or have your first child, that you'll reach happiness and stay there the rest of your life. Save for the occasional sadness from death of a friend or loved one. Happiness will go up and down. Nothing is permanent. Just gotta maximize and enjoy the happy times when you have them. Edit. Wow. First gold. Thank you kind stranger. I wish you and everyone reading this thread happy holidays and happy new year smiley face. You aren't getting paid based on how good you are. You are paid based on how hard you are to replace. Working hard isn't enough to make it. You are more likely to make it if you know the right person and get lucky on top of it. Not quite an adult thing. But finding out that your degree doesn't automatically get you a job after graduation. And how much more important work experience is than education. Friends and relationships don't just happen anymore. You have to go out and make them happen, except you can't make them happen. Because people choose who they want to spend their time with arbitrarily. And it is up to you to be someone worth choosing. Doesn't matter if you're a good or bad person. Doesn't matter if you're financially secure or destitute. Doesn't matter if you're attractive or not. Doesn't matter if your life is well put together or if you're a complete trash fire. People can't help who they want to be around. And a lot of the time that isn't going to be you. It isn't your fault. But there's not a lot that can be done about it. You have to be willing to put in the effort to be sociable. To be someone that people want to be around but at the same time be okay with everyone and anyone not really feeling you at any given time. 
the average person is a lot less intelligent than you think. Seriously. Somebody you know hates you. For no reason. They probably don't even know why themselves. And no matter how hard you try. No matter what you do in life you will never. Ever change that. There are no hot singles in your area sad face. You're only really worth what you can offer to other people. It's a lot harder to make friends after college. That is likely the last organic friend making environment you will ever be in. There is no student loan relief. I used to think all cops, and pretty much any authority figure, were good and just. The idea that as you get older you'll have shit figured out and know what to do. Some might have a life plan they can keep on course. Without veering off in a fiery crash. Most don't. We're really asking kids what they want to be when they grow up because we're looking for ideas ourselves. You can't just exercise away a bad diet. You can work really hard and still be broke. No one has a nice, normal family and you and your family are perfectly normal by being not normal at all. You will not be able to buy low and sell high. Everybody lied to you. You cannot be whatever you want to be. There's no sex in the champagne room. There is no God. The idea of cosmic justice, that good people will be rewarded and bad people punished. The wealth won't actually trickle down. Human resources is not there for your benefit. When you buy a house, even if it's all in cash and you paid it off in full, you still have to pay property taxes. Forever. You'll never stop shelling out money. Even if you do everything right, your ability to find a high-paying job, or relatively high-paying job, is dependent on factors outside your control. You are on your own, no one is coming to the rescue. There is no employer who won't fuck you over for the bottom line. There is no beer ferry. Recessions. When you learn that the, the markets aren't a one-way ride that only goes up. If you are talented and work hard and never give up on your dream and are constantly sacrificing in order to succeed then you have bought a ticket in a lottery where only the lucky can win. People with contacts in the business or who sleep their way or otherwise bribe their way to the top will succeed far more often and most hard-working talented people will not reach the top at all. People love stories of those who have rags to riches stories but forget or fail to realize that there are literally millions of equally hard-working talented people who did the same and died poor. Hollywood always needs waiters and house painters. Edit. I should point out that I am talking about becoming super rich or world famous or the world champion not regular success of a more normal achievable type. I am not suggesting people shouldn't work hard and try to succeed. I mean be realistic about your goals or shot for the moon but know the odds of success even if you do everything perfectly are fantastically low. The world has room for only a very small number of world's best in any given field. I'm just going to go ahead and quote from the Discworld series. Alright, said Susan, I'm not stupid, you're saying humans need fantasies to make life bearable. Really? As if it was some kind of pink pill? No. Humans need fantasy to be human. To be the place where the falling angel meets the rising ape. Tooth fairies? Hogfathers? Little. Yes. As practice. You have to start out learning to believe the little lies. So we can believe the big ones? Yes. Justice. Mercy. Duty. That sort of thing. They're not the same at all. You think so? Then take the universe and grind it down to the finest powder and sieve it through the finest sieve and then show me one atom of justice. One molecule of mercy. And yet, Death waved a hand. And yet UACT as if there is some ideal order in the world. As if there is some. Some rightness in the universe by which it may be judged. Yes. But people have got to believe that. Or what's the point? My point exactly. There is no high metabolism. You can't eat like fucking Jughead anymore or you'll wind up looking like Ralphie Mae. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like. If you would like to see more content like this in the future. Subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified about future videos. Now check out one of these interesting videos.